I'm going to show you how to perform the balance carry forward with the Fiori app and the transaction code in SAP s 4 Assistant. My name is Nundish and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. Dear audience, I would like to make you a request to help this channel to reach the first 1000 subscribers. At the moment, we have more than 8000 views and only 205 subscribers. Please, can you help us to balance this scale by subscribing to this channel? Here, we deliver high quality of content. And I use my free time to share SAP knowledge for free by recording these videos. I think it's fair enough to ask your contribution to share SAP knowledge by clicking in the button subscribe and share this channel within your network. If you like this video, please make a like. If you don't like this video, please make a dislike and put some comments. Therefore, we can improve our videos. Let's reach to the first 1000 subscribers. This process is done in the end of this fiscal year, which means we need to carry forward the balances from one year to the other. Please bear in mind that the fiscal year is not from January to uh, December. It can be a different fiscal year of the company code. It might not be the same fiscal year as the calendar. When we move the balances to another fiscal year, and then if we have subsequent postings, we can run again the transaction code or the Fiori app. There is no problem to run several times. The Fiori app carry for balances has been decrypted in S4M 2022. Therefore, we are not going to see this app and we are going to see another app instead of this one, which is the Fiori app schedule general ledger jobs. We are going to see also the transaction codes FAGL, GVTR, which does exactly the same thing as the Fiori app. Now, without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP uh, green menu. So basically, this is our transaction code, balance carry forward. We just need to go to the general financial accounting, general ledger, periodic processing, closing, carrying forward. And then we have this option, balance carry forward. We are not going to run it here, but we are going to run it in test mode. So here we have the ledger. We can uh, make the balance carry forward only for one ledger. If we leave it blank, it will be doing the led all for all ledgers of the company codes. So our company code is S400. As I said, we can run this as many times as we wish. And then I'm going to move it for fiscal year 2025. Test run, details, and then we are going to press uh, run. Now we have these uh, warning messages. Warning messages are uh, friendly to us and it means there is no errors. And then we are going to click OK. So one more information. What is going to happen? Some warning messages, no red buttons. So life is good. We can see what is going to happen. So these are actually the accounts that we are going to have our balances to be moved for the other fiscal year. As you, as you may know, this transaction code is also used now to move the fixed assets for the next fiscal year. So from here, I want to show you something to understand what we are talking about. So here I have this jail account and the year 2024. When I go back, I want to put the year 2025. And then I'm going to run here. And then you see there is no balance carry forward done yet. Nothing there. So now we are going to move for the Fiori app to see how we can do this. And we do uh, not in a test run, but we do it in a real run. Now we are in the Fiori launchpad. If you don't know yet how to navigate in the Fiori launchpad, you can find the links for the videos in the description of this one. If you struggle to find new Fiori apps, in the SAP Fiori library, you can also find the link in the description of this one to know how to navigate and to find 
Fiori apps in the SAP Fiori library. So let's start from here and look for our um, Fiori app. So this is what we want to do. Schedule general ledger jobs, as I said in the introduction of this video. I'm going just to run here. We have something already finished. Uh, it was a test that I did um, before recording this video. So now we are going to do something which is uh, create. But also we can use this as a copy. We do it after. First, we are going to create to show you how to create this from the scratch. So now I'm going to clear to create. And then by default, it can balance carry forward. But normally, we have all of these options to schedule jobs in this theory app. This is the one that we want to do, balance carry forward. So now we are going to click in step two. In step two, I'm going to say that I want to do it immediately. Otherwise, I can uh, define a time and a date to run this. Step number three, as you can see in the in the in the sub B, uh, we also add the ledger, so we can choose the ledger for, from which one we want to do it. But we are going to run this company code, fiscal year 2025, and then we are going to perform a test run. So I'm going to do here a check. So no errors in our check, so we can schedule. Okay, now we schedule, we see that this is in process. This might take a while, depending on the data that you have in your company code. Okay, we just finished this. This is finished. So I can click here to go inside and see what is going on. I can see the run details. I can go for the run details. And then I can see the parameters. That is a test run, so nothing happened. Here, I have a warning. I can click in the warning and see the job. So it is test mode and we have the same warnings, the three warnings as we had uh, when we run the transaction code. So let's get back, get back one more step. And then what we are going to do now is to use this one and then select, and then we are going to copy. So it's a copy. Step number two, life is good. Step number three, we are going to remove the test run. We are going to check. So nothing is there, no errors, so we can schedule. This will take also a while. So now we have uh, the, the information here. This is done. We have three warning messages. We can click from here to see the messages or we can go inside and go to the warning messages and see what's happening. So here, as for an accounting principle, fixed assets processed, okay? And then the second message, accounting principle, 28, 28 fixed assets processed. And then we can see the other message where we have more information about the jail accounts. So as I said uh, uh, previously, this Fiori app also uh, moves the fixed assets uh, as the transaction code, the same thing. Now I'm going to go back to our transaction codes to a SAC B, and then I'm going to get back and I'm going to run this for 2025. So now you see, we have the balance carry forward done. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please make a like to us. If this video was useful for you, please make some comments. Now you know how to perform the balance carry forward with the Fiori app and the transaction code in SAP S4 Nanon system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget. Subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.